that. We want the, Biden the, to hang for treason. Uh, well, okay, well let's we'll get to that now. All right. So what is it? Uh, what is it, sir? Then now we're rolling. What what is it that uh, that brings you out here today? Trump. We got to save our country. And what what do we have to save it from? Democrats. All of them. Yep. And what do you think of the president? Biden. He's not a president. He's a piss ant. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. TYT's Michael Schur spoke with one lunatic outside of a Trump rally recently that was still hanging on to the old ideas from the past. The mangy old codger showed off the dedication to stupidity that disqualified him from any sense of credibility. President Trump said that on day one, he would spend the first day of his next administration, should he win, um, as a dictator. Um, what he ain't a dictator. He loves the country, and he ain't going to sell our country out either. So, Would you rather have four years of Trump as a dictator or four years no, of Biden? I'd rather have eight years of Trump. No, no, I'm saying would you rather have four years of Trump as a dictator or four years of Biden as a president? Uh, Trump as a dictator. Hatred, ignorance, and contempt for everything and everyone who isn't supporting Donald Trump was on full display in the TYT piece. Michael Schur has interviewed some of the dumbest people to walk the face of the earth and has highlighted their shallow thinking and hypocrisy. When presented with facts, they double down in an oppositional defiance to whatever is being presented. Uh, well, what do you think then about President Trump's chances in Iowa versus the rest of the country? It's over 50%. Trump's got an excellent chance yeah. if they don't get Iowa cheating again. Uh, if, so you think the 2020 election was stolen? Yes, he, yes, they did. In, in what way? Uh, dead people voting, illegals voting. But, you know, just the courts said that that didn't happen. So that's why well, I'm not. If you watched the Trump rallies when he ran before and never been to a Trump rally, you would have seen it was packed. You go to a Biden rally and there's not nobody there. So he couldn't have won. Well, I, I, this is what I do for a living. There aren't Biden rallies, so it's hard to say that no, there's nobody there. Well, even if he wasn't, yeah. even if he did have a rally, he ain't going to do nothing like Trump did. They are unable to use words to properly express themselves, so they compensate by investing in Trump merchandise and other paraphernalia. Their idiotic made-in-China apparel doubles as grown-up underoos. If it's Donald Trump, it's good. If it's Joe Biden and the Democrats, it's bad. That's the extent of their reasoning skills. This old fool is one of Donald Trump's useful idiots. These are the people that Donald Trump relates to on a third grade level. The undereducated are the easily duped. It was frustrating just to listen to the old Uncle Nasty and the garbage that was flying out of his pie hole. It was obvious that this knucklehead will never learn. In sharp contrast, there's Pam Hemphill, a grandma and cancer survivor. Pam participated in the January 6th insurrection. She urged rioters to come through the barricades until she was pushed to the ground and trampled. Capitol Police officers saved her life. She remained dedicated to Donald Trump, even after being arrested for her participation on January the 6th. She had a lot of time to reflect on the things in prison, but she still clung on to the hope that she was right about Donald Trump. She gave up hope when Donald Trump used her. <laughs> The January 6th Capitol insurrection. Mother and grandmother Pam Hemphill, who had recently been diagnosed with breast cancer, was there. She had long enjoyed taking video of political events and told police at the Capitol she was a citizen journalist. But she also believed former President Donald Trump's false claims that he won the election. And this is what she was telling people outside the Capitol as she shot her video. Whose house does it belong to? It's my house. Come on in. It wasn't until months later that Hemphill was arrested on multiple charges. After a plea bargain and pleading guilty to illegal entry to the Capitol, she was sentenced to two months in a federal prison in California. When she got out of prison this past September, she did have questions about the far-right talking points about Trump, but still considered herself a Trump supporter. However, a few months ago, she had a revelation. So when you heard the former president say that he would consider pardoning some J6ers, it changed your mind? Absolutely, 100%. And what did you then think of Donald Trump? That's it. He's just a master manipulator. He doesn't believe anything. He just thinks he's smart enough to pull a wool over you. But there's people like me waking up. And do you feel the former president's responsible for that? Absolutely. He's the king of that gaslighting. It's a cult. These are the first steps in breaking free from dysfunctional thinking. Admitting the possibility of being wrong and being able to take honest inventory and correct problems can work wonders in someone's life. 
Good going, Pam. You're an inspiration to those people who are still trapped by their own thinking and selfish desires. And that is an absolute fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.